Oh, we! It's day number nine, and that's actually exactly what we're gonna be looking at today. A oh, we, or overall equipment effectiveness, Power BI dashboard. And actually, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be checking out its OAE, or overall actionable effectiveness. So, this is our initial dashboard. And as we can see, the KPIs are pretty prominently displayed with cars and the speedometer. We can also see that the reference labels of the cars include some context. However, we can't really tell does this number represent our plan or our previous year. I would also actually like for there to be some consistency in visualizing the KPIs. Especially the speedometer I don't think actually has any added value. It just takes up more space. And actually talking about that, all of the cards and the speedometer are actually taking up quite a lot of space that we could have used to put in some more insights or give these numbers even more context. Well, actually, this is gonna be our main goal when we try to redesign this, adding some variances and really letting our visualizations speak. So tell the whole story without the need of any new context or even more information to get some actionable insights out of them. Next is a thing I really like, and it's the trend chart for our KPIs. But again, there's some inconsistency going on here as we don't have OEE actually presented in this trend chart. Something like this can be easily fixed when we do our redesign. Also, we can see that we have some stoppage data here and we see that we have a pie chart only showing the major and the minor ones or the percentage of each. I think this data could actually be better represented with a time series charts and with that we can also track the trend and see exactly how many stoppages are happening day by day. Before we move on, color usage could also use some improvement. As we can see that violet is used predominantly throughout the whole report and this can cause some confusion, especially when it represents different values. Also, it can take our focus away from the data that we're actually trying to present and focus more on the way that the colors actually look. So in this case, I would actually adhere to the international business communication standards that tell us to only use strong, vibrant colors to show variances, or better yet, just show colors when they have a certain meaning. Then underneath, we have two extra visualizations. One is a chart showing us OE by products, and the second is a matrix visual showing us the actual and planned data for all our KPIs about our machines. And one thing that I think that would improve both of these visualizations are variances. Especially for the matrix, as it can be a pretty complex visualization to understand for a reader, where to really understand it, we had to do some extra steps to calculate the variances and then understand which of our machines are actually doing better. Visualizing these variances with Zebra BI tables is going to improve the visualization and the understanding, the clarity of the data immensely. Now like the video, subscribe and let's redo it. Like I said before, I believe we can add a lot more insights into our main KPIs if we visualize them with Zebra BI cards. So the first thing we can see is even when we just add our actuals and plan is that we get this awesome representation and automatically calculated variances that we then can also represent with a chart to gain extra clarity to see exactly what's going on in an instant. Then what we can also do is we can break this one card up into four cards, one for each of our KPIs, still keeping all of them enclosed in one visualization, ensuring that our report will keep running smooth and fast. Now to save some space on our dashboard, what we're gonna create is special tooltips that when we hover over our cards, show the trend for that specific KPI. This leaves us a little bit of room where we can now insert the Zebra BI chart showing stoppages and with this we now have a daily view of our stoppages and just by adding a simple slicer for minor and major stoppages 
we now have a complete view of our stoppages daily. Underneath these visualizations, we will also add a breakdown of our KPIs by machine and by product. We're going to visualize them with Zebra BI tables as they create structure charts that are best used when we have longer category names, just like we do here. And you will also see that they also visualize, calculate and add all of the variances without the need of any coding, docs or any other input from us. We can now easily gain the insight of which machines and for which products the machines are producing as planned and for which they are not. But the best part is that we made our report a little bit more interactive as now choosing or selecting a card means that we can slice up the data in our Zebra BI tables, getting a better, deeper understanding of each of our KPIs. We effectively have four different dashboards in the place of one. And with using actually less elements than before, we were actually able to show more data. So by being able to show more data in the same space, we were able to achieve higher data density and a higher amount of insights that can help you on your business decisions. So if you want to be as effective as possible, download this template from the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and come back tomorrow for another installment of the 12 days of Zebra BI report makeovers.